Breaking news, a man on trial for killing a caseworker is found guilty. A judge found Benjamin Reed guilty of all three charges, including murder. Deidre Silas was stabbed to death in January of 2022. She was a caseworker with the Department of Children and Family Services and was at Reed's house to check on the welfare of the children living there. News Channel 20's Carolina Hassett was in the courtroom to hear the closing arguments and the verdict. Carolina? That's right. After four days of testimony, the judge ultimately declared Benjamin Reed guilty for murder, but mentally ill. Now, Reed was found guilty on all charges, which includes first degree murder, aggravated battery and aggravated unlawful restraint. During the trial, the state argued Reed was a liar and was using his symptoms to get away with his behavior, while the defense argued he was mentally ill. But the judge said two things can be true at once. Can he manipulate? Yes. Is he a manipulator? Absolutely. You bet. Did he try and do it here to gain a sanity edge? Absolutely. He sure did. Can he be a liar and a malinger and still have documented and established mental illness? Absolutely. Now, the judge continued to say that five qualified experts testified, saying they each diagnosed him with some kind of mental health disorder in his lifetime, and that while the mental illness impaired his judgment during the crime, he was still aware that what he was doing was wrong. Now, the judge added that in his 27 years of practice here in Sangamon County, it was one of the most heinous crimes that he's ever seen. At the courthouse in Carolina Hassett, back to you. Thanks, Carolina. Reed's sentencing will be in November. Tune in tonight at 6, where we will have the defense attorney's reaction from today's verdict. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A man accused of killing a DCFS worker is found guilty after a four-day trial. Benjamin Reed was found guilty on all charges, including the murder of Deidre Silas. Silas was a DCFS child protective specialist who was stabbed to death in January of 2022 inside a home in Thayer. She was called to the home to check on the welfare of the children living there. Now, News Channel 20's Carolina Hassett was in the courtroom for the entire trial and brings us what the defense team had to say following that verdict. Carolina? That's right. After days of testimony, the judge ultimately declared Benjamin Reed guilty for murder, but mentally ill. Now, Reed was found guilty for first degree murder, aggravated battery and aggravated unlawful restraint. The judge ruling that while Reed may have been manipulative, there is no doubt that he is mentally ill. Reed's attorney Mark Wyckoff describing this verdict as a hollow victory, saying that while it is the verdict they wanted, he feels for the Silas's family. There is elation in the victory, not today. Terrible loss for her, for her family, but at the same time, terrible for Benjamin Reed and his lifelong history of mental illness. Now, Wyckoff went on to say that he is pleased that Reed will get the mental health treatment he needs as, quote, a human being deserves to receive. Now, Wyckoff said in the meantime, Reed will remain in the Sangamon County Jail until his sentencing. At the courthouse, I'm Carolina Hassett. Back to you. Thanks, Carolina. Now, the state's attorney declined our request for an interview. Reed's sentencing hearing will be on November 15th. Continuing coverage now, today marked the fourth and final day of the Benjamin Reed trial. As News Channel 20 Spencer Davis reports, a judge found him guilty of stabbing and killing a DCFS caseworker. Spencer. After four days of testimony and arguments, the bench trial of Benjamin Reed finally reached a verdict. Guilty on all counts. In January 2022, Reed was arrested at a Decatur hospital for the killing of Deidre Silas. The Department of Children and Family Services caseworker responded to reports of children in danger at a home in Thayer. The trial began on Monday with the prosecution calling seven witnesses to the stand, including Reed's mother, who originally reported her son to the police. I called the police, which kills me. I said, mother, I got to be human being. I did what I had to do. Did you know where they were going to be going next? Yes, sir. Did you provide that information to the yes, sir. The defense's main argument for Reed's innocence was his mental health. 
Diagnosed with many mental illnesses, disassociative disorder was the one the defense pushed the most. However, an interview with Reed's doctor pushed against that argument. Whatever took over and actually did the crime is still a part of you. And that part of you would know that that's wrong. It's not as though this is some foreign entity that takes over the life. In the end, the judge ruled Reed guilty of the three charges levied against him, saying that Reed's mental illness could exist, but doesn't excuse him of his actions. Did he manipulate? Yes. Is he a manipulator? Absolutely. You bet. Did he try and do it here to gain a sanity edge? Absolutely. He sure did. Can he be a liar and a malinger and still have documented and established mental illness? Absolutely. Now found guilty, Reed faces life without parole for first-degree murder, aggravated battery, and aggravated unlawful restraint. From the studio, I'm Spencer Davis. Thanks, Beth, sir. Reed's sentencing hearing will take place in early November. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.